Jimmy Hart is the one. He's the brains behind Three Count. Um, you know, in Nashville, I touched on Nashville for Music City Wrestling. Like, we were kind of doing a boy band type, what we called the Bad Street Boys um, back then uh, in Music City Wrestling. And Chris Canyon, he's the one who uh, ended up getting me hired. Wow. Um, and ultimately, like, rumor has it, like, I've never had a discussion with Eric, but they were going to hire 21 cruiserweights and put them in a house together. And like film it like a real world type. Uh, I don't know if you remember real world. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. That's our generation. That's our yeah. 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 We remember it. I'm old, sorry. <laughs> like, nah. um, but yeah, they were gonna film it. I, from what I hear, like the real world, and watch you know like these 21 cruiserweights kind of evolve in WCW in this house living amongst each other. But huh. that kind of got scrapped, and um, like I was one of the first that was hired for that idea. And then Shane went down from whenever I did my, they hired me and sent me a contract, never see me wrestle live. Like basically WCW did. And then wow. Shane went down whenever they finally called like, Hey, maybe we need to see you wrestle live now and see, uh, see what you're all about. Um, so Shane went down, they ended up hiring him. But, um, but yeah, from there, like, you know, I sit home for a couple of months, just getting paid. They sent us down to the power plant and me and Shane were down there for like a week. And we were both like, dude, we've been doing this a little bit too long to be here getting knocked out mm -hmm. like by guys that, you know, don't know what they're doing. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And I got a bad concussion while I was down there, like on day three. So me and Shane were like, you know what, we're going to go into Paul Orndorff's office and we're going to tell him that we're going home. And, you know, like you heard rumors about Paul. It's like yeah. we didn't know. Like and we talked about it. We're like, dude, we're probably going to have to fight him. And I was like, you know, like, how do you want to handle this? Like, what if he grabs a knife or like, all we heard? <laughs> right, yeah. yeah, we heard stories plans. about, yeah, he was like, Paul was supposed to be really tough. And like, he was, you know, apparently crazy whenever it comes to like fighting and stuff. So we were prepared and we went in, we told him and um, he was like, ah, oh, I don't know why you're here anyways. Like, yeah, go home. And we're going, <laughs> okay, like, where's the punchline here? Like, you know, we're waiting on it. And he, that's all he said. And we were like, okay, cool. We're going home. So we went home. And then uh, I think immediately, um, like two or three days later, Jimmy Hart called me. He's like, um, hey, baby, like, what are you doing? Like, you're on the to be fired list now. Like, I oh, really? That, oh. Yeah. So, like, it was a complete, like, you know, like, here, you know, yeah, go home, watch this. I'm going to fire, you know, like, just a dick move. Like, that shit was happens. Pulling. Yeah. That happens in wrestling. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, yeah. Typical, that, typical, just carny ass, carny lady. stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but Jimmy, he saved the day, man. Jimmy scooped in and he made sure that, you know, they kept me in chain. And uh, I think that's whenever Jimmy was like, hey, you know, we're going to form this boy band. You know, Britney Spears is hot. Uh, Justin Timberlake's hot. We're going to do this thing. We're going to tour and you guys are going to play in shopping malls. And like, he had this baby face outlook like we were going to be as big as Britney and like, Justin. <laughs> right. like for real. Like he thought that we were going to be a legit boy band. Like, yeah. Wow. And we actually we went, I think it was it was to the Backstreet Boys studio uh, in Tampa. It was either Backstreet Boys or NSYNC. Um, it was one of their studios in Tampa where they did their music. And um, we recorded the songs. And like I can't sing, like <laughs> not good at all. Like it was just like terrible. And then like Shane's rapping, and uh, you know like Evans trying to sing, and it's like I'm just going like, man, this this is good. <laughs> Jimmy's going, this is great. This is the greatest thing you ever. Didn't baby. have a yeah. musical background. No, like other than like playing like rock music. Okay, like, you know jamming on a guitar, right, like, right. where you can just scream. Okay, uh, but actually singing a tune like no absolutely not 